This is Credit Matters, and I am Larry Whitty, Senior Director with Global Fixed Income Research at Standard & Poor's. We recently released a report on three decades of credit trends for U.S. public finance. Today, about half of U.S. public finance ratings are in the AA category or above. Frequently, ratings change at an accelerated pace following the release and during the implementation of revised criteria. Ratings in U.S. public finance overall appear to have grown less susceptible to economic downturns. U.S. public finance ratings had less downward movement in the 2008-2009 recession than in the previous two recessions. U.S. states are the highest rated sector. High investment grade ratings for states declined just before, during, and after the 1990-1991 recession, but only twice since 1994. State ratings may be more resilient than 25 years ago because of stronger fiscal positions and more sophisticated financial management. However, certain states have more acute challenges in terms of retiree pensions and benefits, and we have taken those into account through rating actions and outlook revisions. The percentage of bonds issued by states and local governments that are high investment grade is 47%. A significant jump in ratings occurred during 2013 and 2014 when revised criteria was applied to 4,000 ratings, about 40% of which were upgraded. Higher education ratings have been most stable among U.S. public finance. Roughly 20% to 30% of the ratings have been in the high investment grade categories since 1986. Ratings for higher education issuers usually fall following S&P 500 index losses which can serve as the barometer of the size of a university's endowment. Utilities have had the most dramatic increase in high investment grade ratings. In 1986, only 17% of utility ratings were high investment grade, compared to 49% in 2015. Utilities had very little deterioration in credit during the Great Recession, as these entities have some rate-setting autonomy for essential services. Transit obligors are predominantly rated in the A category, with about 20% of credits rated AA- minus or above, and 20% rated BBB plus and below. Fuel prices appear to be a strong link to transportation ratings. When fuel prices decline, ratings are slightly more likely to improve, and the opposite occurs when prices rise. The not-for-profit healthcare sector has the lowest average ratings in U.S. public finance. At least 25% of ratings have been BBB or lower every year, going as high as 50%, by far the highest in U.S. public finance. More than in any other sector, not-for-profit healthcare ratings exhibit interaction with the economy. The second largest sector in U.S. public finance, housing, has nearly 85% of its ratings in the high investment grade categories. However, in 2011, U.S. housing had the largest rating shift ever of any U.S. municipal sector after the downgrade of the U.S. sovereign rating in August. This shifted the percentage of AAA rated bonds to 7%, from 56%, although the percentage of bonds with high investment grade ratings remained high at 85%. U.S. public finance ratings should continue to rise in the long term as finances improve and management practices get better. Challenges and uncertainty are on the horizon, however, for some issuers challenged by retiree benefits and pensions. For more information, please read our recent report on U.S. public finance ratings entitled, Recessions Don't Hinder U.S. Public Finance Ratings in the Long Run. Thank you again for watching.